The race is 103 miles. We start on the lower level of George Washington Bridge and then go all the way to Bear Mountain and then a little bit different route back to finish here in Fort Lee, right at the park on Hudson Terrace. People are coming in from all over the world. We have riders from over 90 countries coming to Fort Lee. You came all the way from Sweden to yes. this? Yes, only for this. Only for this, yeah. <laughs> Have you done it before? No, this is the first time, but a big dream since many years. We are coming from Colombia. Friday, Saturday is the expo where they can pick up the numbers and get ready for the race. Yes! on Sunday which starts at 7 a.m. on George Washington Bridge. We go all the way to Bear Mountain and then we come back and we come back to River Road and finish in Fort Lee at our beautiful Expo Center. We have a cafe here where you can hang out talk to people from all over the world. It's a very inspiring atmosphere here. It's not just professional athletes that we do have but it's also people that go out on a weekend to ride their bikes and get ready for this of any age like our oldest rider is I think 83. If somebody doesn't want to do the 100 mile race they can challenge themselves with the 50 mile, which ends at the top of Bear Mountain. It's challenging for all of us, even if you're super fit, super fast, it's hard, but it's fun. I came from the sunny island of Puerto Rico. It's like they say, they treat you like a pro for a day, so you, you, you feel like a pro. You're looking at me, I could ride on a bike how many miles you want, and I still walk with a cane because I'm an injured veteran. So a bike means life. I served for 18 years on my second deployment. I got injured by a mortar in Iraq. So I was uh, two years and a half in a wheelchair. Now I'm riding every single day of my life. There's nothing impossible. If you could think it, you will do it. It's amazing. You see all different types of people doing it uh, at all age groups, all fitness levels. If you're not doing it this year, you should de definitely aspire to do it next year. And we can help you get to that point. Challenging yourself is why we're alive. Let's challenge ourselves, get better, let's fitter, healthier. And if not, just have fun. You need to go out and ride. And if the cycling thing is not for you, just please come out as well to cheer on the riders. They really need that. Spectators are suggested to walk uh, toward the PIP park if you wanted to watch the event. There will be limited parking in the area. Road closures will begin at 5 a.m. Hudson Terrace southbound will be closed at Myrtle Avenue. Northbound on Hudson Terrace will be closed at Bruce Reynolds Boulevard. So if you want to come out to watch the race, don't be here later than 11 o'clock or you miss the winners. You see the grimacing giving it all out after 102 miles of racing. It's going to be fun.